Today on MTG Unpacked, it's Walmart Power Cube time. So we've got four of these awful cubes here. And actually, I should say I got these from Myers, not from Walmart. So you can get them from either place. And Myers is like a similar store in the Midwest US. All right, so let's get into these. We have a chance of one in four chase packs. Let's see if we're, we're lucky today. So getting the first one open here. What are the packs? We have D&D &D and Midnight Hunt. What a surprise. And the promos. These things I can sell all day on TCG Player. So I'm not too upset about that. We've got a Foil Scoot Swarm. And Veto Thorn of the Dusk Rose. And of course, we've got the relic tokens here. Let's get this out of the way and get to cracking. So, Midnight Hunt, and why am I so washed out here? There we go. A little bit overdone on the exposure. Do we get a list pull right off the bat? No, troll card. Okay, moving on with our lives. This is one of the lands. It is Deserted Beach. We've also got a nice forest. Blood Pact. Morkrut Behemoth Larder Zombie. Siege Zombie. Obsessive Astronomer. Firmament Sage. Ambitious Farmhand flipping around into Seasoned Cathar. Kessig Naturalist flipping around into Lord of the Uvenwald. Candle Grove Witch and what mythic to fairy who slows the sunset Awesome pull we will sleeve that up and a foil gale drifter with the whale drifter on the other side Okay, um Maybe I'm changing my mind about these. We're actually getting some decent pulls But let's see what is in the D&D &D pack so a nice mythic to start, it really whets the appetite for more. And by the way, these are $19.98 or thereabouts from Walmart. For some reason, Myers had them for $23.99. Bit of gouging if you ask me. So we've got Grim Bounty and a foil, is that a foil? Yes, uh, very hard to see, foil island. Clattering skeletons, goblin javelin ear. Hobgoblin Captain, Goblin Barbarian, Dueling Rapier, Kalein Reclusive Painter, Displacer Beast, Blink Dog, Valor Singer, Dryder, and Drizzd Duerden is the rare, along with a foil price of loyalty and the Atropal with the Tomb of Annihilation. Okay, so what are the relic tokens? These are uh, worth a couple of bucks usually, but. Uh, I'm not that excited about these, so what do we got? Let's take off the wrappings here. So we have, yeah, I think that came off. We've got a sliver, so you can see there's like a life counter and another counter up here, so that is awesome. Pop that over there, and this dude, we have a knight with vigilance, okay. Nice bit of variety today, and what is this? Merit Lage, and it's a foil. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's sort of a shine to it. There we go. All right, so three different tokens. On to the next box. So have you picked up any of these terrible cubes? I think it's funny how these just sit on the shelves, gathering dust, but those um, mystery boxes Seem to not stick around for long. They're pretty hard to find. Okay, so let's see. What is it? Scoot Swarm. Oh, 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 hello. Nyx Lotus. Have not pulled one of those out of these boxes before. And we've got our Scoot Swarm. If I can get it out of there. Okay, doing okay with the promos, I reckon. Okay, so let's take a look at the Relic Tokens. See what we've got in this bunch. Okay, so we have some ooze. Get a good look at that one. That is awesome. And 
and we have a vampire. So I don't, is that foil? No, I don't think so. Just a regular vampire lifelink. And finally here, we've got a merfolk. Okay, so this one is foil. You can see that really pops with hex proof. Okay, and let's get into our packs. Midnight Hunt treated us well in the uh, first pack of the video. Will we do just as well here? No idea what I'm looking at. It's one of the lands at least. Haunted Ridge. And we've also got a Swamp. Bramble Armor. Candlelit Cavalry. Dawnheart Rejuvenator. Ardent Elementalist. Electric Revelation. Vivisection. Scarb Wrangler. Ambitious Farmhand flipping around into Seasoned Cathar. Heirloom Mirror. Flipping around into Inherited Fiend, and what else? Old Stick Fingers is the rare foil tapping at the window. And what is this elemental token? That's pretty crazy. Okay, Crimson Vow. We want to see what? Olivia Voldaren or something spicy like that. Oh, here we go. So I think it's Olivia something something. What is it? Crimson Bride, okay, and we have a Plains, are we in focus? We're having some focus issues today. Blood Craze, Socialite, Baldaran Epicure, Blood Fountain, Falconrath Celebrants, Parasitic Grasp, Circle of Confinement, Desperate Farmer, and Eats His Horse. No, he's a depraved harvester, kindly ancestor. And is a Ancestor's Embrace on the other side, Blood Petal Celebrant. And Kessig Wolf Rider is the rare foil flame blessed bolt and a human soldier. Okay, so as you can see, usually you pull total and utter crap out of these, but it's what you would expect from random boosters. Uh, the Innistrad Midnight Hunt and Crimson Vow have a terrible EV right now, so that's expected value. So honestly, I'm not terribly surprised. So let's see, what do we got here? Got another Veto, okay, and a Scoot Swarm. Pop those out of the way, same packs as before. Can we have some variety or a chase pack? So the Relic Tokens, let's take a squeeze at what we got in this bunch. So getting a bunch of different tokens. So we have a Pirate with Menace. There we go, and another merfolk, is this uh, not a foil this time, just a regular merfolk with hex proof. And finally, we got an elemental. Alright, so a bunch of variety there, let's go Crimson Vow. Now I'm beginning to wonder if there are really any chase packs, and what a chase pack actually is. Probably Iconic Masters if you see the uh, box. So I think this is Cartographer's something or other survey. Okay. And we've got a Plains. Griff Rider. Parish Blade Trainee. Adamant Will. Militia Rallier. Resistance Squad. Ollenbock Escort. Ragged Recluse. This is the witch, isn't it? The Odious Witch. Unholy Efficient. And Dorothea Vengeful Victim Showcase. On the other side, we have Dorothea's Retribution. And a, is that a foil? I think that's supposed to be a foil consuming tide, or maybe not. It's hard to tell. Okay then, no, it's not a foil. And a repository scarb foil. Okay, that's definitely foil. And day night token. Midnight hunt. I've been trolled, I think, by these streaks and new Capenna foils. Those are really hard to see. Uh, this is, what is it, Sarath the Viper's Fang, I think. Yes. Excellent. And a Swamp. Famished Foragers, Falconrath Perforator, Voldaren Stinger, Purifying Dragon, Cathartic Pyre, Bird Admirer, flipping it around into Wing Shredder. 
Shady Traveller and Candle Grove Witch, and I purposely did not flip that other one. Curse of Obsession is the rare, what else? And Malevolent Hermit, another rare. On the other side we've got Benevolent Geist and a foil tapping at the window. And nothing from the list. Okay, so one more box to go. I strongly suggest you do not purchase these. Let me waste my money so you do not have to. And so you know what's in all those cubes. Those mysterious cubes that are gathering dust at your local Walmart or Myers store. <sighs> okay, so the same old, same old. And a Nyx Lotus. Okay, I can't complain too much about that. That's awesome. And no chase pack again. Let's get this cube out of the way. Crimson Vow. Show us the spice. We need something awesome in the clothes. Um, is that a plains? It is a plains and an island. Voldaren Epicure Blood Fountain. Falconrath Celebrants. Gluttonous Guest. Groom's Finery. Bride's Gown. Hook Hand Mariner flipping around into Rip Hook Raider, Wedding Security, and Edgar Charmed Groom Showcase. And this one flips around into Edgar Markov's Coffin. Oh, yes, we will take that. Soren the Mirthless Mythic. Okay, gonna pop that in a sleeve shortly. Foil Heron of Hope. And that is that. Okay, so we did get a couple of Mythics at least. It wasn't totally terrible, but uh, definitely not making our money back on these. Let's get into the uh, Relic Tokens and stay tuned. Tomorrow, how do I get this open? We've got an awesome fat pack from the distant past of Magic History. So if you have any guesses for what you think it could be, leave them in the comment section. So we have an awesome squirrel token. So this box was worth it for that alone. What else? And we've got a fairy rogue token with flying. And this one looks like it's, yeah, this one's a foil golem. Very shiny indeed. Okay, Midnight Hunt, don't let us down. Perhaps like disintegrating already. Is this a list pool? Yes, what a mythic! Morophon. <laughs> Mouthful. Morophon the Boundless. Holy crap, from Modern Horizons. Okay. Um, my opinion is shifting slightly, but you usually don't do this well. Okay, three mythics. What is happening? Okay, on to the next. Here we have. This dude, who is it? It is Denik Pius Apprentice and a Forest Ritual Guardian Harvest Tide Sentry Timberland Guide Bramble Armor Candlelit Cavalry Dryad's Revival Jewelcraft Trainer Lunark Veteran flipping it around into Luminous Phantom and Tyler's Hauler not flipping you, sir. And Patrician Geist is the rare, along with a foil Drown Yard Amalgam. So that wraps it up for more of these terrible cubes. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.